Today for lunch, we're having tuna sandwiches on a hamburger bun with some of those vegetable chips and a dairy milk Oreo chocolate. So the this is tuna with mayonnaise, dill, and green onions. And that's lunch for today. Okay, so this tuna sandwich, I'm just going to open it up. I'll try to do it one hand. Jeez. It's kind of sticking together now. Okay, so I'm going to put the pickle in there. A couple of these, because I've been doing a bite of this, a bite of that, right? So I might as well make a little sandwich. Make a little sandwich. It's a messy sandwich. Let's try it. Mm. That's good. With this in the middle, it gives it a little crunch. You get more dill from the little pickle. Mm. This is a good tuna sandwich. I got to get more of these little tiny pickles. Even the sweet ones would be good. Because you can wrap them. With the veggie chips like that and just plop it in your mouth nom, 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 nom. delicious well tonight was supposed to be a barbecue night but it's raining out so we changed our plans here so I looked in the freezer and I found some of these restaurant style fries and lamb meatballs. And we have some hamburger buns. So I'm going to whip up something for dinner tonight using this. So the french fries are going to go in the air fryer while I cook up the meatballs. And we still have some left in this bag so we're going to put that back in the freezer for another dish. So these lamb meatballs, there's two sides to it, so six on each side. So I'm just going to do one side. So we'll have three meatballs each. I have the cast iron frying pan out. And I got the butter in there all melting away. I'm going to keep it on low. Mmm, this smells delicious. These, I've never tried these meatballs. They're lamb meatballs. But I'm sure they're going to be good. Jay just tried lamb not too long ago at the barbecue, and he wasn't too fond of it. But those are screwers. So these are meatballs, so they might be different for him. We'll see. Well, maybe I should have done the whole pack. But I had this, I took it out of my freezer last night, and then they're not frozen. But the other side is, so we'll just do the six. Now, these are the meatballs that I picked up at Frugal's discount store. So uh, they were really cheap. I think they were probably two bucks. So it's a nice little meal for tonight, something different. So while that's cooking, I have my mug of water. So about half a mug of water. So about half a cup of water. And I have Bisto. So Bisto is gravy you get in a box, but I put it in a jar. So Bisto. I'm going to put two tablespoons of Bisto in there. Make like a little slurry. Make up some gravy. I'm going to put it aside because I'm not going to do the gravy quite yet. I'm going to wait a little bit. So I added half an onion. 
And today I'm going to use the earth spoon. Mix that up a little bit. So I'm going to turn it down to number two, so it's on really low. I want to caramelize these onions a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to add one can. Then we're going to add one can of mushrooms. These are sliced mushrooms. I drained them already. Okay, so now that I have this gravy, so now that I have the gravy ready, the best of gravy, I'm going to add a little bit at a time. Just to get it going here. Just a little bit more. So you can see it's thickening up. So you can see it's starting to thicken up, right? So I'm going to add some more. Actually, I'm going to add it all in now. Just got it all in, just like that. Now this is something I'm going to put, I think, on top of the fries. I was going to use those buns, but I think I'm going to use those buns for something else because, well, I don't think we really need it. I was going to make some meatball sandwiches but there's not much there for meat so i'm gonna make like a poutine a cheap ass poutine so since i'm making poutine i'm gonna cut those meatballs a little bit just so we have a little bit to spread on a little bit more to spread on there it kind of shrunk so i'll just cut them in half this way we have more to go around So as you can see, it's, the gravy is nice and thick. So I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to add it to the French fries. Okay, so French fries. Oh, that's hot. Here we go. Here. Spread that all out. I have some cheese that I shredded, so old cheddar cheese. So I went back to the grocery store and picked up two more blocks of that old cheddar cheese at 444 block, 400 gram block. And I was like, that's a good special. So we got some more. There we go. Gotta make sure we have equal amount meatballs. All that good stuff. Just put that on top of the cheese so it melts the cheese. Looks absolutely delicious. Mmm. For someone that didn't know what to make for supper tonight, BAM! Delicious! And there we go. We have the restaurant style uh, french fries that were air fried, along with a bisto gravy, lamb meatballs, and mushrooms and onions. Caramelized mushrooms and onions. Delicious. So this is my poutine. And that's what we're having for supper tonight. Nice and easy. And, well, just a last minute thought. So this is a simple lunch. 
I made some chicken sandwich using the flaked using the flaked chicken in a can. Added some mayonnaise, some of that bagged coleslaw, a touch of mustard, and a little bit of pepper. And I just put it on a hamburger bun. And that is lunch. Nice and easy, nice and fast. Well, today was supposed to be a barbecue day. And well, it started raining. So I forced Jay to make the barbecue anyways. So he made us a barbecue today. So he bought us um, this crazy uncle root beer at the liquor store. So, so we're going to try out this crazy uncle root beer tonight. It's uh, an adult drink. And we're going to have hamburgers. He made some hamburgers on the barbecue. So I got hamburgers and pickles. So I got hamburgers, pickles, cheese, ketchup, mustard, mayo, and a side of Caesar salad. And he has his half a rack of, half a rack of ribs that I picked up in my last haul, along with a side of Caesar salad. And... He's a double stacker. He also picked up these puddings, these chocolate puddings, because he enjoyed them so much at that picnic that we just had uh, that he thought, well, I'm going to pick some up for dessert tonight. And that is barbecue dinner for tonight. Well, I made a purchase. And, well, I didn't expect it to be this big. This is a microwave, guys. And it's 1.1 cubic feet capacity, 1,000 watt microwave. So it's a retro microwave. I got it in a turquoise color. Let me see how big it is. Hopefully it's not bigger than the one we have because, wow, this is huge. I was thinking it was going to be smaller. Okay, so I think it's the same size as my old microwave. It looks like it. Fingers crossed. Okay, so the unveiling. Oh, oh, she's a beaut. She's a beaut. Oh, she's so beautiful. What a beautiful microwave. Okay, so I'm loving this new microwave. Easy to use it's with a dial, easy buttons, just even the 30 second press works great. Love the color. Much smaller than my old uh, microwave. I am completely over the top happy with this. Well, this is the microwave and I'm loving it. I absolutely love the color. I love the size and it works great. So I turned it out for 10 seconds. Let's see how loud the beeping is. So it's like my other microwave, same beep. Awesome.